One of my most distinct memories of Egypt was on the third anniversary of the January 2011 revolution this year on January 25th, 2014, where I attended a demonstration um, as a human rights uh, investigator and researcher of April 6th and other forces that were opposed to the government. Um, I was standing around a group of people, about 2,000 or so individuals that were chanting the same slogans they'd been chanting three years ago. Um, it was about three blocks from Tahrir Square, and Tahrir was at the time taken over by people that were celebrating the police because January 25th was originally chosen as the day for the revolution because it was to protest police day uh, in Egypt. And I'll never forget, you know, you had people in Tahrir putting police on their shoulders and celebrating the police and, you know, three blocks away you had this demonstration. So I noticed troop movements and police coming in and, and I know to get out of those situations. I can't do much good there and can only do bad. And a few minutes later they began with tear gas and then opened fire on demonstrators. They killed, I think, 65 people that day, including an 18-year-old that had been standing next to me. Um, a little bit before, and I left, and to leave, to go to my home, I walked through Tahrir. So I remember walking through Tahrir, and I could, like, smell the tear gas, and I could actually see, um, and you could actually even see and hear the live ammunition, and you could feel the tear gas, and people didn't stop their celebrations. They continued celebrating um, as their own, you know, countrymen. Um, and these weren't even Muslim Brotherhood members, right? Not that that justifies it, but these were, you know, the kinds of folks that were celebrating Egypt three years before were getting gunned down. And I think that's, to me, representative of the extreme state of polarization and, and kind of where Egypt is today. Thank you. No worries.